what is up guys, Shadow Scale here, and um, welcome back to Train Fever. <laughs> oh boy, last couple videos I haven't been very successful, so this time I decided to try and get a base game going. This is what I came up with. I've been using trains only, so naturally I'm going to probably try and get the achievements, which is Train Fever, and um, that achievement is Truck Fever. In here. There it is, train fever. Use just trains until we get to the try and get that So right now we're having a bit of an issue with this pa passenger line here, which has warranted an upgrade. Which has warranted me getting another locomotive. <laughs> so right now this carries 40, 42 passengers. And I don't want to increase the size of that train and say that one Try and um, make the line a bit larger. Basically, we're gonna have two trains on this line right now. I also got notices a couple times that the for these lines need to be updated. So try and get this um, set up. I had warnings earlier that these trains are uh, going to be replaced, so whatever. I guess it was because of one, the way I set my vehicle, but I'll have to check that out. Oop, oh, oh, that's not what I want. Fuck. We're all going to set these to relatively, um, I'll set it to 100, but we're going to... He's ready to be updated soon. We have a replacement honey and there we go. Everything's ready to go. Alright, so <laughs> two trains are going to I'm gonna try and keep at least one of these trains one of the three. Actually that's uh, that's probably a bad thing on the independence eliminated. <laughs> I wanna get there's another achievement game where you can um, keep, as long as you keep a train built in the 1800s, it's called, you actually get an achievement for that, so I'm gonna see, I think you're enough, sorry, build a line with more than 10 low, low motion, yeah, should be, um, one in here that's quite odd, it's normally, um, The car train is 100 passengers, no free seats is 200 passengers. Glacier Express. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm looking at it, but get that. Ashford Ocean. Oh, yeah, that's not hard. Aha! Keep a train built before 1900, running until the year 2000. So we're going to try and get that one too. Right. So right now we've got at least one of the passenger trains going to be kept. I know that's not very efficient for these kind of things. Uh, usually passengers are a relatively good commodity to ship in, in on this game, but then again you're also dealing with a lot more uh, on the freight side. So try. Keep leaving that up. Uh, I haven't done some of my usual things, which was to do the loops here. Now that usually works out very well because of how you're tending to build these towns, but other than that... Now, I think in regards to these little locomotives, I like this little fact that it's, um, there's a locomotive in the United States known as the General, which is where the locomotive's name came from. In, World, in the Civil War, not the Civil War, why do I keep getting so confused? Anyway, the Civil War, there was a locomotive from the Atlantic and Western. Where did you go? Atlantic. I think it was the Atlantic and Western. 
and um, it was known as the General. It was number three, book one of number three of that last set of the uh, group, and it was a 4 4 0. It was captured in the Civil War by the Union soldiers, and um, there's a whole movie about it, which of course was made by Buster Keaton. But the famous general, uh, I'm, I'm going to probably put up a picture on the screen here, is actually a real thing. Uh, it's designed exactly like this one, except this one is in the more museum scheme than it was in the typical rail scheme, which was a green and red kind of library back when it was in the rail. It was later repainted to a black and red in a um, local one that started serving as a museum. Moving the museum as well, actually. That's right, the thing moved for a couple of years for a couple of years under its own power. Which I find it kind of fascinating. Looks like we'll be doing fine for a little bit. Uh, until then, I'm going to try to pay some of the loans. But uh, I can't do that right now, just yet. I have a uh, ton of money for the same amount of money. Here's the other train right there. That little bit of coffee in there, that's nothing but sludge. Really disgusting. I never got that when I made it made it through the microwave. Just heat up hot water and just use the coffee grind for uh, one of those cone filters. I really wish that in the American DLC that they would have the American crossings, so not the European stuff. I don't mind the European crossings. I mean, I'm used to them by now. But, um, the idea of just the American DLC with the European crossings. A lot of the terrain is a little odd, too, with how they made it. I mean, the farmland being in the complete and utter desert. Milwaukee. I probably want to build a line from Milwaukee to Independence eventually. Uh, we don't have a fast enough train to deal with that, so. Oh, excuse me.
in my headphones. Turn down the game volume. Oh, that is. We're down to 50. There we go. That's better. I can hear clearly in my headphones now. Alright. Normally I would connect this to this because it's the closest, but I don't think it's going to work. Alrighty. <laughs> Straight shot. Perfect. Mm. Yeah, it's fine, I guess. It's not really needed, but it, it's more of a passing sighting than it is a double track. Think about it. Whoop! Shit, man. If we start producing, we start sending goods back and forth through here, it should jump up production on this. Steel metal. This is an ambitious project anyway, so I don't know if it's gonna work. Normally I don't. Oh, there it goes again. Almost done here. Burp here. All right, I, normally, I probably should have built this first, but it's the best one. Kind of like insane we need to do that for us. Once this starts production, the coal mine should start jumping up in production, and vice versa. Everything should be really going. Well, we have pretty decent going in now. Wilmington Goods. Fuck, I can't read that. My eyesight's really bad. Normally I would write Rail 1 in parentheses, but I can't do that because the name's pretty big. Alright. Uh, eventually the consolidation is going to get into play here. I'm going to wait a bit before building this line up. But for now, let's get the um, coal line set up. I don't, need one, I don't need two tracks really, unless we're... Actually, let's do that real quick. I don't want to actually... Um, I want to see something here, because right now, as it stands, the, the production is all warranted on like frequency. I want to have at least one full load line and one sort of going back and forth line. I want to see. Oh fuck me! I really need somebody to help me out with that. I don't know what is going on, but eh. because of double check, I think we'll connect to both lines. Really. No. Now you don't need to worry about. Too much speed because the cargo doesn't disappear when you're building just production cargo like this. I'll try and uh... oh fuck! Seriously? That warrants a bridge. How much is it gonna cost me if it just to fill? Whoop! Fuck. <laughs> oh, you know what? I think I probably can do something here where it won't warrant fill. Oh, wait a minute. Um, a bit of a hill there, that's why it's doing that. Alright. I'm gonna try and go downhill as much as we can so we won't. Normally I'm not against building bridges or fill, but that's when I'm mod when I've modded the game and just am constantly using cheats. So naturally I'm gonna try and do as much <laughs> try and do this game without doing any of that crap, so Alright, we got 
some money in. Heard that. Oh yeah, wait. Now I gotta figure out a um. Yeah, I can see that I've missed a second there. <laughs> there we go. That's always silly. I remember doing that kind of same thing with um, Locomo Chris Sawyer's Locomotion, which I'll play eventually on this channel too. Kind of show you the history of how this game came to be. What I used to do, what I used to do was do curves, and then I had to do these little junctions. It was so funny looking. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here, so I don't get. Um, I'm gonna do two different lines on this track. So one is gonna be full though, one is gonna be so that so we're gonna try and see if we can do that. Alright, there we go. Getting close to the sea. That should be good. We don't wanna to go too close. Right now we don't have anything that we want a large um don't, we don't have really anything to warrant two locomotives on this one just yet, but then again I'm gonna be using two locomotives from the start to kind of do a full load and any full load of any contest. Here's something I probably should have mentioned on one of my how-to videos is that um, when building these little junctions, you're probably going to have to build these little waypoints every once in a while. If the trains will try and take the shortest route. And if you want to keep it a double track line, you have to do this. Try and keep the locomotives from running into each other every once in a while. Alright. Okay. It's not what I want, but then again, we're not going to this line right here just yet. I'm gonna check this area real quick. Yep, that's fine. This is gonna be the standard, the standard Wilmington. Is that? Yeah. Cope. Cool. What? Then we're gonna do the second line. Which from here. So uh, here. Gonna, it looks like it's gonna use the same stopping track, so that's good. Which is not not actually not bad. <laughs> Black and white. It's so silly how this works out. Looks like the um Yeah, it looks perfect. This is what I wanted. I'm gonna change this to full load, if any. The reason I say if if any is um as I used to hear them all the time. There we go. I have three lines ready to go. And we're gonna have to quickly build our cold local ones first, because that's gonna be the costly one. Now, I think in one of my how-tos I thought that I couldn't see the cost, but actually I wasn't looking hard enough. I thought it would be in this little box here, but instead it's up here, so. All right. I don't need many cars. I'm going to build three per train. So this one's going to be set to, oh, oh, fuck. Wilmington Cold 1. Wilmington Cold 2. The 
And same thing over here, we're going to want the goods. Alright, oh fuck. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, whatever. Let's fast forward. Yeah, we got money right away. One of the... Okay. So both trains are heading to the, um... To the steel mill first. Not bad, to be honest. I just realized something. I might have screwed myself with this. Oh, we got money already. I'm sure this is going to jump up production soon. Because they're going to... It's going to try and realize that this is going to be the shortest way to get goods to this town. So I'm not sure about this yet, but we'll see. That is line usage, yes. That one has line usage. This one will probably have line usage eventually. Okay. Oh, that's set up. So, seriously? Are goods just moving there on their own now? What is line use still? They're just moving there on their own. That's not good. We're getting enough goods over there. Oh boy. They're, they're not supposed to be going that way. Hmm. Well, one looks like it's moving this way, still. There's only this half. There's like a trickle that's going over there now. Again, that's... What we want. We want the train to be filling up as much as it can with these goods. Over here we're getting, I guess, a decent amount of production. Yeah, we're doing fine here. Again, passengers is the way to go because obviously you saw there that in the beginning of the video I had so many passengers here it's warranting a second locomotive. I mean, I could probably go with expanding the current train, but that's going to cause frequency to go down because it's so heavy. See, here we got two trains moving at the same time. Let's look at the overpass system down. Oh, I probably took a screen. Should have taken a screenshot of that. Hi, dog. I think in one of my previous videos I showed you. I showed you that my dog's channel. Black Lab. So right now, looks like the Independence Limited is doing pretty well for its up. So our newest passenger car has arrived, which means that we're gonna have to upgrade one of these passenger trains so I can carry a little bit more passenger traffic. Okay. <laughs> Either the first, the other train just left, and there was already four, no. Okay. So I'm not getting as many passengers here in San Francisco as I am in Independence. Because both trains just left Independence not too long ago, and they should have had the same amount of passengers allowed. Okay, there's still enough that warranted the second train. I'm gonna look for the oldest train, and um, I'm gonna. Well, this train is the San Francisco oil, which is not I, not what I wanted, but... Independent Limited, that's... 
Okay, this one, train number three, is the oldest uh, out of the group, so. I'm gonna immediately send you to the deep, but once you get close off, so. But you've just. Yeah, there you go. Wait, there we go. Bit loud, I know. Probably turn off the cargo now in the console line. I've always had trouble getting achievements on this game. I know they're pretty simple, but... Alright, we're gonna have to send it to the depot soon. <laughs> Two cats are sitting in the windowsill there. I'm gonna see how long I've been recording. Uh, 26 minutes, actually. Not bad. Uh, we could probably go for another few minutes before I have to end the episode. I think I might end the episode just upgrading this little motor, so... I have a bit of action this let's play. Or maybe not. I do not have enough money to warrant that. Looks like I'm gonna leave the local one to, to run around. Alright, what to do? We don't have a lot of money, so I'm gonna have to wait a bit. This does say line usage, right? Yes, there is line usage, and the production is actually going down. <laughs> There's still no production through that. It should be the slow. Interesting. So, nothing here yet. Going to the. Or is it going to this train only? I think that's what's happening here. <laughs> we may have actually done something weird here. We're sending all the cargo to this train rather than the second train. Or the ones going back and forth. So I may actually change the line status on some of those lines. Uh, it just depends on how much is being filled up. Right, 34 out of 50 production. Not bad. How much... Oh, that was one of the passenger trains that just dropped off. How are my lines doing, actually? Uh, you're actually profitable. Holy crap! That's quite a bit of money there. I'm sure once the um, consolidation gets in here, we can actually... Set these to be upgraded to the consolidation. Uh, oh god. Shit. Again, how long have I been recording? Uh, 28, 38. 39. 40. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, Am I getting full production? Still on that. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. Ah! This looks ridiculous. Every time the train unloads, they all just go running all over the place. I'm sure there are people walking between the cities, though. Normally, I have like a rare occurrence where I see like uh, people walking across the town to the next city or something like that. So, oh boy. 45, that's definitely warranting the second train. Is that train just... seriously? Okay, we may actually need a third train now. What the fuck? Seriously? Okay. Wow. What to do here? We're definitely gonna need one of these trains to, uh, upgrade pretty fast. Because I cannot afford, really, a third train on this line. Because that doesn't really necessarily need a third train. I guess I can send you to the depot as soon as you um, unload. So. I guess you're just gonna be 
because we have a, a decent amount of money, I can probably set you up with some new cars. By the way, the reason I set it to the Independence Limited is, of course, because this town is named Independence. There's an actual train that was run, I think, for the, um... There's a couple trains that were run in the early Steam Excursion era that were known as the Independence Limited. Yeah, the Southern Rally, or CSX, I don't know. Alright, go! Yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. The rods are not moving. Alright, because we have another train on that line, we're not actually going to worry about the train losing path, the line losing passengers, but it's going to bump up a lot quickly, so we're going to have to hurry up and um, fix up that train, train number three. Move that there, my trains. Uh, normally I would probably upgrade train number three to a, to a consolidation, which is actually right around the corner. Yeah, we're right around the corner of the new up, new locomotive. The consolidation comes in 1877. 1880s when that car becomes obsolete. Oh boy, I really hope we have enough money to get at least a few of these cars. We'll need them for the for train number three to start warranting a little more profit. <laughs> I saw that. That's like really cool how they split off right at the right at the same time. It looks like they unloaded and unloaded at the same time too. Almost a synchronization. Alright, here it comes. Alright, well, go back to normal speed and sell off these cars. Alright. Well, it's a bit bigger than it was before. I guess I'll add this one to it. There we go. The, um, I have screwed the bridge there. That's odd. You can't have these, um... There we go. <laughs> there we go. That's what I wanted. Back to the Independence Limited. It's going to be a bit larger than the other train, but... Uh, I know that the passenger traffic is going to just go nuts. If it already has. That is not... That is, that's, that's crazy there. I hope this train can pull that car, that truck, pull this. It's kind of, it's kind of, this is definitely very profitable. Like I said before in the how-tos, this is one of the more profitable industry, one of the more profitable cargoes is passengers. Look at look at that. We have a hundred people waiting at that station. Well, it's not exactly. No, nope, now it's exactly a hundred. All right. <laughs> I think I might end this episode here because uh, I'm running out of time. Time to do a lot of shit. All right. All right. I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. Like and comment down below. Subscribe if you want more, and I'll see you guys later. So. Well, hopefully get this done too, so see you guys later.